When you think about aerodynamics and engineering, ceiling fans probably don't come to mind. But that's exactly what Big Fan Manufacturer Big Ass Fans is all about. Big Ass Fans has been around since 1999. We were originally formed as the HVLS Fan Company. We sell high volume, low speed fans from 8 feet to 24 feet in diameter. They're used in all types of large spaces. To date we've sold over 20,000 Big Ass Fans not only throughout the United States, but globally. We've recently opened operations in the United Kingdom, and we work through business partners to sell the fans in other countries such as Mexico, uh, areas like Central America through the European community, and quite a bit in Australia. Even though they have a quirky name, there's actually a scientific process behind the design and engineering of their fans. Driven by new ideas, the process begins with their Director of Research and Development, Dr. Richard Ainsley. Design and development of uh, HVLS fans is a, an interesting activity because there's all sorts of sources for inspiration in improving the fans. So the ideas come from many different directions, but the critical thing is to evaluate the ideas and uh, see how each idea might improve the performance of the fan. Part of evaluating a design idea, such as a fan airfoil, is physically testing a 3D cutout of the part. That's where Big Ass Fan's wind tunnel comes in. One of the key features of the tunnel is the ability to visually check the uh, characteristics of the airflow above the blades. So even with a well-designed airfoil, if the angle of attack is too high, we find that the flow detaches from the upper surface of the blade and this creates uh, a significant amount of drag which means load on the fan motor. So what we've got to try and do is get, find the maximum angle of attack that we can have and still uh, and avoid that uh, large turbulent weight. And now we see the flow is attached right down to the trailing edge. So that minimises the, uh, the drag on the airfoil. With a PhD in aerodynamics and 30 years in the business, Dr. Ainsley's expertise is changing the face of fan design. There's often a lot of loose talk about uh, performance of fans. If there's a performance claim for a fan and it can't be measured, then it's probably BS. Once an airfoil has been tested, the data is sent on to the engineering team where they create a 3D model. First, we'll receive a, an airfoil form from the Research and Development Department. We will transform that into a three-dimensional shape, and then we will go through and, uh, and create the actual product around that airfoil. We're the people who take the theory and the, and the, uh, the science and actually build a, a product around it. Computer modeling eliminates guesswork and further testing allows Big Ass Fans to create the highest quality and safest product on the market. Product development will take the concept, put it into a design, then we'll generate a DFEMA design failure mode and effects and analysis. Um, we'll generate that with a, uh, a cross-functional team made up of all departments. That way we're capturing the voice of the customer and we're capturing lessons learned from past models. Satisfied with the design from a quality and safety standpoint, an actual prototype of the product is made for testing. Computational fluid dynamic software calculates exact airflow models to make sure the optimal and most efficient airflow is achieved. From that point, we'll take it to the manufacturing process. We'll do a PFEMA, process failure mode effects and analysis um, to make sure we, we address everything within the process, how it affects the quality of the product, and that way we're giving the customer what they want in the end. Only after the design and engineering process has exhausted every test for the fan is it ready for production. With our improved production lines, our large warehouse, once an order is received, we're able to ship it within 24 hours. And you can leave it to the big ass fan staff to ensure every possible durability test is conducted. Turns out this real world test is actually helpful, not to mention a bit of fun for the employees.